Hi, welcome to brainstemschool.com and today we will be discussing uh, changing the print zone separators and the uh, end characters. So as you know the print statement will always put the new line character at the end of an output line. For instance, If I have two lines of output, they show up on two separate lines. So actually, the print statement will append the new line character to the end of a string. However, if I set the end character to be an empty character, I can put two print statements and they'll show up in the same line. Also notice that there's not even a space between them because the very end of the one string goes right up against the very beginning of the next. You can also use the SEP, the SEP flag, to set your field separator when using commas to separate different values. So for instance, in this line, I have a print statement printing a string, an int, a string, a string, a string, a float. And then the separator is the vertical bar, which can be found on your keyboard above the Enter key by hitting Shift backslash. We see the output of the code. Instead of forcing a space to be the separator, it puts the vertical bar as a separator. You can use anything you want as a separator. In this case, we have a comma, which would be great for comma-separated lists if you wanted to make a, a file, a database file, or a spreadsheet file. Save it as a comma-separated list, or a CSV, comma-separated values file. You can use the comma as the separator. If you want, for your end of string, you could use some HTML, such as the line break code from HTML. Notice how I've also put the backslash in, which is the escape character for a new line. So if I want to have hello and world on two separate lines in HTML, we can use the br tag with the backslash n new line character at the end. Another situation is if I wanted to make an HTML table. I could combine a series of tags and use the, t the closing TD and the opening TD tag, such as in this case here. If you don't know HTML, don't worry, we'll cover that someday, but it's pretty easy to learn. You can go to a, do a web search for free HTML tutorials and you'll find quite a few resources. Thanks a lot, hope it was helpful. And when you get a chance, head over to brainstemschool.com, check out the rest of the site, download the ebook, and post a couple of comments. Take care.